Hey there, Leo. Welcome to reading for the month of October 2017. So, uh, this month, definitely check out astrojar.com. The link in the description below. Also, if you'd like a custom October reading just for you, you can get that at the link in the description, top of the description below. I'm doing custom October readings, custom general readings for people. So, definitely check that out. Uh, but let's see what we have going on for you. We start off with the Five of Diamonds. A great time to start things. Um, you, I think Leo gets this card quite a bit, so I would say that it's probably time to get started on something that you're thinking about starting or thinking about doing. I think a lot of you are weighing your options, and definitely that, that just popped into my head, the, like the, the sentence, the words, whatever you want to call it, weighing your options. So I think a lot of you could be trying to make some decisions. I actually think you will by the end of the month. Um, and it's kind of like your only message here, um, if I'm being honest, it, for the entire month. So again, you might, you know, might be a very heavy thing that you're dealing with. It actually doesn't feel like, I don't want to say heavy like bad, because I don't think it's a heavy bad thing. I think it's just, you know, you're just trying to make a big decision about things in a lot of ways. But just a great card for starting something, starting something new, stepping off on a new journey. You even have two aces, which are amazing cards for uh, doing new things and starting new things. Next, you have the Ten of Clubs. Um, to me, this is a great card of charging forward with success, um, you know, kind of being very successful at this time. It's a card of abundance, opportunity, success, money, prosperity, dating. Great for dating, by the way, meeting a lot of people. It says that pretty much anything you want to do, there is an abundance of whatever that is. So definitely a great month for you. I'm also getting, like, it's, it's interesting. You have the Ten of Clubs, you have the King of Spades, and you have the Nine of Spades. These are all cards of justice and... Um, you know, kind of getting some justice in life. But I feel like for you, a lot of you are trying to convince yourself of something. Like I think a lot of you are gathering, going to be gathering details about something and trying to like prove a case to yourself. I think like maybe some of you are trying to decide to move. Moving comes up here. Maybe some of you are deciding like whether to not to get married or maybe, you know, it's, or some other major life change or whether you should start some sort of business or, you know, something like that. I, I see a lot of you trying to make these types of decisions, and, you know, they're all coming up here, and you know, it's going to be different for all of you. This is a general reading. But, um, yeah, I really feel like you are you are trying to um, judge these things this month, and it seems to be the main thing. Again, with Pluto finally going direct this month, um, you know, that could be very good for you in trying to put all these puzzle pieces together. Next, you have the King of Spades. Great card for, again, being a judge. I mean, this is a card of judges and juries and things like that. It's a card of justice and receiving justice. So I definitely like to see that. Um, but other than that, it's also a card of um, mastery, being a master at something, having some sort of skill uh, that could be very valuable to you. So again, if you need money or anything this month, uh, try to think about maybe some of your skills or some of the things that you are talented in, maybe outside of your job, outside of your career. Uh, that could make you some extra money on the side because you have this nine of spades. Nine of spades can represent uh, temporary work or consulting work or clients as well. So I think that there could be a lot of opportunities for some of you who need money or who are trying to make money to, to, to get that money, uh, you know, in some other way. I think you just need to figure it out. Um, but that's what this card represents. This card also, I feel like, can represent worries or worrying about things. So I think Definitely got to calm the worries down this month um, because it can represent worrying about things that you don't need to worry about, worrying about things that are just out of your control anyway or aren't going to manifest in the first place. So definitely try to let go of some of your fears. Next, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Amazing card for starting a new journey, stepping off on a new path. It's a card of abundance and money and success and all these other things coming in for you. So I definitely like to see that. It can represent needing to face fears, um, not being sure. It's it's kind of like a card, like I'm getting no guarantees. So I feel like, you know, you might want to do something, but you feel like there are no there's no guarantee that it will work. Um, again, I think for some of you it could be a business, for some of you it could be money related, it could be investment, it could be a person. You know, I think the list goes on and on there. But I think you need to take a risk at this time. Um, because I do think that it could be very, very profitable or just a very good thing that happens to you uh, with this card. And then finally, you have the Ace of Hearts card of comfort and happiness. It's also a card of your emotions overflowing. So being very happy this month and having, um, you know, a lot of good good things coming in for you. Also a card of home. I think a lot of you, again, just judging by the cards, could be thinking about home, 
moving, planning on moving, or travel of some sort as well. Um, but on top of that, great card for love. This is your one good uh, love card that you have this month if you're single. Uh, you do have the uh, Ten of Clubs, which would be a card of like talking to a bunch of people. So if you are trying to date, um, you know, now would be a great time to maybe online date so you could talk to a bunch of people or, uh, you know, or go out and try to meet people. It would be a great time for that as well. So I definitely recommend that. But yeah, like I said, I think kind of a single message. I think if you're trying to do something, I think if you want to do something important this month, that um, maybe just building a case in your head um, to convince yourself that you should do it. Because I do think you should take some risks. Aces represent risks, new paths, all this other stuff. And I think you need to take these risks. But again, I, I think that maybe you won't if you um, don't build the case in your head, if you don't convince yourself to do it. So that's what I would do if I were you and gather the details. And I think I, I think it could be that simple. Now that I said that, that makes perfect sense with that Ten of Clubs. Sometimes I think the Ten of Clubs just says, like, you know, hey, I just need to get some more details so I can just be 100% about, you know, going here, traveling there, moving there, starting that job, starting that business, meeting that person, talking to that person. So um, that's kind of the energy that I get off of that. But it looks like a very interesting month, I have to say. So... Thank you again for watching. Enjoy your month. And if you want a custom October reading, link is in the description below. So thank you and enjoy your October.